Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, it's me GamerTurk and it is time for Sword Art Online news from Dengeki Banko Autumn Festival from Japan. Sword Art Online Season 3 has finally been officially announced as Elicization and in production. We got a brand new SAO anime project adapting the spin-off light novel Sword Art Online Alternative Gun Gale Online and a brand new trailer for Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet, this time featuring Death Gun as well. Now, while I talk about the anime projects, you will see gameplay footage from Fatal Bullet since I'm pretty sure A1 is going to get my channel in trouble if I use those anime reveal trailers. Though, I'm, I'm pretty sure I can use still images without A1 shutting me down, but both trailers for Season 3 and Alternative GGO you can find in the description with English subtitles thanks to the German licensor Peppermint Anime. Let's start with the big news, Sword Art Online Season 3 has officially been announced. The reveal trailer starts with the post credit scene from Ordinal Scale Movie with Kikoka welcoming Professor Shigemura with the words Welcome to Wrath, followed by the words SAO will return. This was a huge tease for the rumored third season to be about the huge elicization arc from the light novels and fast forward to today, that footage changes to SAO is back followed by various terms that are integral to the Elicization story arc flashing on the screens. Specifically, Flugged Light Acceleration, Wrath, Soul Translator, Underworld and Artificial Labile Intelligence Cybernated Existence, which fades into Alice. Now, I won't be talking about any Elicization spoilers, mainly because I did not read the Elicization novels myself just yet. But for those of you who played the SAO games, you already met with Alice in Memory Defrag, Axel World vs. Sword Art Online and Hollow Realization DLC 3. The other main character that is from the Elicization arc is of course Yu-Gi-Oh who we also met in the games. And according to the reveal information, both their voice actors from the game are here for the anime as well. Nobunaga Shimizaki voicing Yu-Gi-Oh and Ai Kayano is voicing Alice. For those of you who didn't read the novels, Elicization is by far the longest story arc of Sword Art Online. Putting it into perspective, so far each season of the anime adapted roughly 4 volumes in a full season. First season was Aincrad which spanned volumes 1 and 2, while Fairy Dance was volumes 3 and 4. Season 2 was Phantom Bullet which spanned volume 5 and 6, Calibur which was a short side story and Mother's Rosario which was volume 7. The thing is, Elicization is a 10 volume story arc, even more than the combination of what season 1 and season 2 offered in total. And so far we have no information if Sword Art Online Elicization in anime form will have significant cuts, separated into two seasons or a double sized season. And I should add that Elicization is considered the best story arc in the series by many people, so I am fairly certain they wouldn't make it one normal season that requires huge cuts from the story. We do not have any information about the English casting or news, nor do we have a release date for season 3, but we know now that it is officially an active project in production. But that's it from the Season 3 announcements, if you'd like me to cover all Season 3 news that might come out in the future, let me know in the comments with a simple request. But now it's time for the second big news. Gangale Online was one of those VR worlds many people wanted to experience more of, so a spin-off light novel series was created with the title Sword Art Online Alternative Gangale Online, focusing on a different set of characters in Gangale Online. It is not written by the original author of the series, Reki Kawahara, but is being supervised by him, similar to how the gamer stories work. The series feature brand new characters such as Lan, voiced by Tomori Kusunoki, Pitohui, voiced by Yoko Hikasa, M, voiced by Kazuyuki Okitsu, and Fukazero, voiced by Chinatsu Akasaki. Again, no news on a release date and no news on the English cast, similar to Alicization, this series is also in production. Third big news is coming in the shape of a video game, but we stick with the Gungale Online theme. We got yet another trailer for the Sword Art Online Fatal Bullet, the footage you are seeing here is just random Fatal Bullet gameplay, so Bandai Namco does not claim the news video as they usually do. We can watch the trailer by clicking the icon in the upper right corner, 
Warning though, it is a Japanese trailer with absolutely no English subs. As soon as they are provided by Bandai Namco US or Europe, I will be adding them in. The trailer starts with the usual SAO incident on year 2022, death game, no logout, etc. narration like everything else. Then we jump into Gun Gale Online, we see more of the world in action, we see more of the customization options, we see Kirito, Shinon, Asuna, Shilika, Liz and Leafa in action in GGO, which is followed by Arphasis and our custom character, his friend Kureha, Zeliska. However, the next part is the highlight of the trailer where we see Death Gun in a fully CG animated scene against GGO Kirito. Also, after the trailer, we get to see Pito Hui and Lan as characters in Fatal Bullet. Remember that the game is coming out on PS4, Xbox One and PC on Steam. Japan has a release date of 8th of February and it is assumed that Fatal Bullet will have a worldwide release but no confirmation on that just yet. But that's it for today, please do let me know if you enjoy these news content in the comments and with the hit of a like button, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well and the bell next to it for notifications. You can support my channel on patreon.com slash gamertalk and get exclusive benefits on my channel or you can just simply follow me on facebook.com slash gamertalk and on twitter at gamertalk95. Take care everyone.